When we work with data in a table format or a tabular format, uh, I typically use columns and rows. So a column is this and a row is this. Now that's the definition I use because I have an audience who are beginners or kids. Uh, now uh, a more appropriate, a more accurate uh, definition for a column would be an attribute, right? Because it's defining this record or this row, right? That's an attribute. And the other one, other definition of a row uh, is an item. So this whole thing is an item. It has multiple attributes, right? And this is also when you have a single, single attribute for a specific item, it's typically called a cell within a tabular structure. Now, each of these attributes can have different data types. So let me explain the different data types now. So, you know, your box can be small, medium, and large. When I use the example of a box, I'm going back to this thing here, for example, product container is a large box, a small box, a, you know, a jumbo box. So small, medium, large, it's uh, giving a characteristic or explaining or describing a characteristic of that item. Same thing with, let's say, priorities. So we have low, medium, high, not writing it so well, but you get the idea. Low, medium, high is defining that characteristic or a gender, male, female. True, false is also a binary characteristic of an attribute, you know, whether you shipped that box or not, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, so small, medium, large has some sort of order to it. Uh, this also has some sort of order to it. This doesn't have an order. This is a binary value, right? A true or false or, you know, uh, yes or no. Now, all these are together. I mean, these are all uh, defining a characteristic, like I said, and are called qualitative, qualitative data types, right? Because it defines the quality of a data. So a qualitative data type, let me change the color a little bit, or change the color, right? It's a qualitative data type. And this one, these types are, since it has some kind of order to it, so start with order, it's not an order, but let's call it ordinal. I, I remember it because it has the word O-R-D in it, ordinal data type. Now this is a category uh, or could be called nominal. I mostly call it category, category, right? Uh, but it's a nominal type. This is a binary. It only has one, it only has two values, okay? Now, uh, so this is how you define, uh, this is what, do, these are the different types of qualitative data types. Now, if you go to go to numbers, you can have numbers of boxes, which are more discrete. So you could go one, two, maybe 10, maybe 1 million. Or you could have on a more continuous scale, uh, height of a patient, which can start with, you know, zero feet to, uh, you know, six, six feet, or somewhere in between, you could have five, five feet and two inches. So these are, you know, more continuous. You can, I could have, you know, further, further values within this, right? Here it's more discrete. Typically you don't have fractions of boxes. You have two boxes or three boxes. You don't have something in between here. You're allowed to be on a more continuous scale. So these are discrete values and these are more continuous values. Right? And these are numbers. So they are quantitative. Quantity defines a quantity. Now, there are examples of discrete values having colors in it, like red, blue, because they're discrete. Uh, but I'll, I'll keep that for a separate time in terms of explanation. So to summarize, you have two types of data, qualitative data, quantitative data. Under qualitative, you have nominal, example, gender, race. Ordinal, you have, you know, blood group, like A, B, C, B positive, B minus, somewhat ordered. Binary, you have pass or fail, yes or no. Discrete, 
in this case is number of parts example number of parts damage in the shipment it's pretty discreet um, and you have continuous like length height size width and you can even categorize this further the continuous data can be binned or grouped together and let's say you know length small size small medium large but based on the length value right so you can further further categorize it same thing here you can uh, have discrete values categorized into a specific classification the example i gave was color red blue green hopefully that made sense